the play that hunts me the most is the Saints kickoff return. Harris McGee to the 30, up to the 35, cuts to the right side, looking for room. Just get it and make something happen. After this yeah. move, I thought I was gone. And midfield, Terrence. No, he's going to do it. He might go. He's going to do it. McGee now has open field. It was like the greatest uh, return that never happened. Like that's that's what it was. You know, it, this could have probably been the greatest, you know, kickoff return ever if I if if I scored. We're reliving the greatest moments in Buffalo Bills history through the eyes of the legends who created them. This is Bills Legends Breakdown, powered by Microsoft Teams. I'm Steve Tasker, and I'm pleased to be joined by Terrence McGee. Terrence, I'm happy to have you on here so we can have a chance to talk about special teams. You're the Bills' all-time leader in kick return touchdowns and kick return yards. There's a lot of guys that are great with the ball in their hands and all that, but not everybody can return kicks. What made you a great return man? Man, honestly, if you ask me, it was all by accident. I was a running back in high school. I always felt I was an offensive player. I just didn't have the offense that I couldn't catch. I, I'm not a catcher. I don't think I was big enough to play running back. So I always wanted the ball. I just never figured, you know, I never thought about special teams. I was thinking more like, hey, shoot, if you put me on the reverse, coach will put me on the reverse, let me do that. that that'd be good. But, uh, you know, uh, they found a way, you know, for me, you know, get the ball in my hands. So in 2004, you burst on the scene against the Patriots in week four. Take me through what happened in that game and, and what it what led up to you getting your shot. I just remember like starting and then kickoff return. You know, that was right. my first touchdown in the NFL. Terrence McGee, the return. A good kick return to McGee, hit the opening. McGee has the kick of the beat. He's passed him, being chased down by Sam Hurd. Will not catch him. I mean, it was exciting, man. The fans were going crazy just to get in the end zone, just to help the team put points on the board, man. It felt good. My mom was in the crowd. I think I had a couple homeboys that were, that were there or something like that, but I remember my mom was there. Yeah, well, let's, take, let's go back and take a look at the kick return touchdown you had. It was in the first quarter. It was early in the game, and you're right. This is just exactly the kind of thing that gets the crowd into it. Really, I only had to make the move on this one guy right there. And then, you know, it was off to the races from there. I remember seeing the, the kicker at the time. Yeah, Adam Vinatieri. And, yeah, I felt like, yeah, that was the only person I had to beat at that time. So if I get past him, I'm gone. That kickoff return in New Orleans. You've probably seen this a million times. Walk us through what still gets you about this play. So, you know, it was going into the half. So I already knew what they were going to do. I knew they was going to kick this type of kick. So I'm running to the ball real quick just to get it and make something happen. When I get up here at the top and stop, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to get tackled. I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to get tackled. You know, it's all over with the half. And what did you, when did you first think as you get this, get over here and you reverse field again, one guy goes past, you shake another blocker, then you leave those guys behind. Did you think right there, right, it's like, uh-oh? Just move right here. Just move right here. After yeah. this move, I thought I was gone. Yeah. I said, oh. There's nobody left, really. So after that, I feel like it's off to the races. Now, at yeah. the time, people can't really see this, but I'm looking at the last guy. I don't know if he's going to go out because they really didn't attack him. They kind of just kind of waited for him. So I didn't know if he was going to go out and come around the block and try to get me or what. And at the time, my legs, they're, they're gone. So when right. I see him jump or go go under i try to jump him but as you can see like my legs i can't you know they're, they're dead yeah so i just really jumped too early and um yeah i was about what about five yards short yeah not even and that's it it's interesting yeah. too because you get to that spot and you, there's so many things that have to go right in that situation and you know you ran for what ended up being probably a a 65 or 70 yard return, you ran at right. least 210 yards on that return. Right. And all of it is high intensity. People forget, man, you get to the end of that. That's a long way for a football player to run on any play. And exactly. you've ran about three plays on this one play, never stopping. And that's when you you get gassed quick. Yeah, I think I remember seeing on ESPN, like I was watching at the time when it happened, it was like, 
the greatest uh, return that never happened, pretty much. Right. And I, like that's that's what it was. You know, it, it could have probably have been the greatest you know kickoff return ever if I, if if I scored. Also, every Buffalo Bills fan remembers the Christmas Eve game from 2005. You had a kick return for a touchdown to take the lead in the third quarter, and then you sealed the game with a pick six. I mean, even the game it, itself, man, it just felt like one of them games. You, 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 I'm sure you don't have plenty of them games where you just feel like you can't do no wrong. You know, just everything's feeling good. Everything's working and clicking. You didn't know how well it was going to go, but you made a name for yourself as a cornerback as well. I mean, you were an every down player, and that's got to be something you feel really good about. And here you get a chance on this out route uh, to pick an interception off and score a touchdown with an interception instead of a kickoff. So, um... Uh, it was difficult. I think we were in cover too. He is, you know, they was putting the pressure on him and he didn't, you know, the guys coming across, he didn't, you know, see me even sitting there. So uh, I'm glad I made, you know, the best out of that opportunity, you know, put another, uh, I think that was even to help, you know, kind of seal the win. Palmer didn't realize that you didn't carry the wide receiver down the sideline. You sloughed off on the outride underneath. He just, he just lost you in the sideline trash or what? Yeah, I think so. And they, like you see, like he was getting some pressure too. So I think he was just really just trying to get rid of the ball also too. You know, just he saw open receiver, what he thought was open receiver with the pressure, you know, coming and not really paying attention to me. Uh, what's the difference between returning the opening kickoff for a touchdown and getting an icing pick six at the end of the game? Man, I trade, I, I say that now, but, uh, Taking a pick six anytime, them things seem like they are hard. Just to get an interception is is hard enough. So you know, get a pick six, and, a pick six, and it helps, you know, seal the victory. Oh man, that's that's probably the best feeling as a cornerback. What's it mean to you to be the greatest return man in the franchise's history? I mean, it, it means a lot, you know, uh, to leave you know somewhat of some some kind of I guess legacy there you know as, as time goes on you know memories fade you know with, with fans and stuff like that you know to have something you know in the record books yeah yeah i'm in buffalo you, you live here yeah, yeah. well I'm, I'm i'm back and forth i'm back right and forth. okay cool I, man i got two 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 of my younger youngest kids ah, okay. over here so back and forth awesome man yeah. great I mean, to see I'm you man take care i was i figured it was yeah <laughs>